Welcome back to G Shed Outdoors, guys. If you watched my last video, you saw where I shot this at these pieces of cardboard at three different distances. The first one at 10, second one at 25, third one at 35. And we saw how the shot spread apart with a cylinder bore choke, which is basically the same size as the entire cylinder. It does not, it's not modified at all at the end. Today, we're gonna change it up. We're gonna look at the difference between, of course, from the last video, the cylinder bore. Then we're gonna change it out to the modified bore. You see right there, it says modified. This is slightly smaller on the end, so it's gonna bring the spread in a little bit more. If you remember on the last video, at 25 yards and 30 yards, the spread of the birdshot was so far apart that the damage would have been minimal. But bringing that spread in should show quite a bit of difference. And then last, we're gonna use the full choke, which brings that spread even closer together. Oh yeah, by the way, I got my new nine round magazine in. I'm gonna test that out later. And I even put this red dot on it so I get a little more accurate because that uh, that rear side is a ghost ring. So it leaves a lot more room for error. But the red dot is pretty much spot on at this point. Make sure the gun's unloaded. And we will take our choke key, loosen it up a little bit, spin it on out of there. Like I said, you can see that says cylinder which means it is not any smaller than the barrel itself. And we're going to go with modified. All right, so we're going to start off with this eight shot. I believe this is eight shot. Yeah, eight shot dove and quail load. Oh, by the way, like I've said in the last video, these things are a shoulder saver. I would strongly suggest getting one. <laughs> Ironically, this one's actually called Limb Saver. That's the brand of this. Not endorsed, just letting you guys know. This is a nice one. Of course, I'm sure there are other companies that make them. And it just slides on, just like that. And it is so much softer than that original butt pad. All right, so shot number one. Well, actually, if you want to reference the last video, this would be shot number four, but it's the first shot on the modified choke. I got my other bag, my five round magazine, because this works a lot better with propping it on the table. It's about, it's on pretty much just the right height. That nine round is too high and no magazine at all is too low. So you can see here, it's perfect height. <laughs> So we're coming up on target number one at 10 yards. We will look here. Looks like our lowest shot was right here. And then our highest shot was way up here, right about there. But the majority of them went in this area right here. See farthest, far, or furthest and furthest out. But for the most part, got a pretty good hit at 10 yards. I'd say that would probably be fairly lethal. Let's go on down to the 25. Okay. Yeah, it does seem to be a little bit closer together than the last one. It's really hard for you to tell. See how those little holes, you can see the light through them all, but they are small. I mean, we've got them all the way, all the way around. Let's see. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can see on the back. You can see it a little bit better on the back there. However, none of them came through this board, which is not surprising. So just tiny little pellets. All right, let's check out the 35 yard. Yeah, these are just everywhere. Just all over the place. Just... So yeah, 35 yards, 
not going to get a whole lot at 35 yards. Now I've got the full choke in there. And again, we're going to shoot that eight shot bird shot. Let's see how much it spreads out at each target. Okay, so coming up on the 10 yard target with the full choke. Definitely a much tighter grouping. You can see the furthest one up high is right about here. The furthest one down low is right about here. Farthest, I guess, because you can still see it. Left, right. Now right there's the right one. Okay. So it's uh that's pretty tight at 10 yards. Of course, this is from the wad. But there are several so close together that they're actually making holes bigger holes. So let's go check out the 25 yard. Looks like the tallest, the highest is up there. Lowest. Uh, yeah, we got the lowest ones way down here. But for the most part, spread is right in here. Not too bad. Not sure if it's lethal, but definitely would hurt. And the 35 yard. Again, just extremely spread out. Probably about like the 25 yard was with the modified choke. Or maybe even the cylinder choke. And again on the back, you can see it's the entire cardboard is covered. So now we're gonna shoot some double alt buckshot. We're back to the modified choke. Of course, in the last video, we shot it in cylinder. So now we're gonna see how it compares to the modified. Oh yeah, that kicks a little harder. Up on the 10 yard target. Nice, so this is actually a nine shot, double up buck. We've got our wad here. It's possible that there was another shot with the wad. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, no, yeah, so. Our wad was up here and nine shots right here. So that's at 10 yards with a modified choke. Double off buck, let's go check out the 25 yard. It's not too bad. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, that's all nine from side to side. Honestly, that's very similar to the cylinder bore. I say it's slightly closer together, but I remember describing the size of an intruder and it's not much different. Okay, so the 35 yard. If you remember on the last, on the cylinder bore, we had two that missed the board. So this one we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine so we actually got all nine on the board this time still you're not gonna hit a whole lot at 35 yards if you're shooting at something that's about two feet wide foot and a half wide you might get three to four pellets in your target okay so now we're back to the full choke and we've got the double off buck let's see how it spreads So we are coming up on the 10 yard with the full choke. And as you can see, that is very tight. A very tight grouping. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looks like the ninth one hit right there. And then of course the wad. All right, well, let's go check out the 25 yard now. I have a feeling this is gonna be a lot closer. Oh yeah, much closer. We've got one way out here. Then we got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh-oh. I think two, yeah, two hit right there together. You can see there's two imprints of gunpowder. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So all nine hit right there together. That is definitely lethal at 25 yards. And it blew right through that wood. 
which is going to be a problem at 35 yards that did not occur to me but that wood is going to mess it up so we got one here that didn't make it through i would imagine that went through the wood two three four five six and those other three from the 25 yard there's no telling where they went because of that wood well darn so let's try that one more time Aim for the right. All right, let's go check it out. So here we are at the 10 yard again. Not quite as tight as the other shot. We got the wad way down here this time, but we still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Definitely tighter than the modified but not as tight as the last shot. On this one, it spread out a lot more. So if you remember before, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, let me try that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I, had a, I missed one. Much wider than the last shot. That is, that's odd, very odd. We're using the full choke, but it went much wider with the same buckshot. Okay, so if you remember, we had one over here. We had one, two, three, four, five, six. The sixth one was one of these over here. Anyway, aside from those six, we have one, two, three four five six seven eight wow so we definitely didn't hit wood this time on the 25 yard but this was a much wider spread all right guys now for the part you've all been waiting for we've got this as i said before i got this nine round magazine for many of you that have purchased this gun and you're watching this video for some information you probably know about the nine round magazine if you don't when you purchase if you purchased this gun last month there was a free nine round magazine along with a fifty dollar store credit it says rebate but it's actually like a store credit it says a web rebate so of course i got my fifty dollar store rebate i'm waiting for that 21 round magazine to come in because that's going to be awesome but for now i've got this nine round uh of course you might wonder how it feeds i haven't shot with it yet but it seems to feed pretty good so let's try it out and of course we've got pumpkins like you saw as you saw in the thumbnail that might be why you came to this video you see that one there that's carved out if you want to see that happen check out our other video it should be coming out in the next couple of days as well so without further ado Let's shoot. <laughs> yeah, I'd say that nine round magazine is pretty sweet. And this red dot is awesome. It's so much easier to just look for that red dot. Well, actually, I had it on green. It's a red-green dot. But it's much easier to look for that dot than it is to try to look through this rear sight and uh, line those up. But <laughs> these, uh, this shotgun has no mercy. Some people call it a hamburger clip. I think the evidence is, is clear. So, yeah. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share for more videos to help us support us. And also, we got a Patreon now. As many of you may know, YouTube is not very friendly to firearms channels. So if you could, go check out our Patreon. If you can give just to the first tier, that's great. If you want to go to the second tier, that's super awesome. But anyway, until next time, thanks for watching G-Shot Outdoors. We love you, and we'll catch you on the flip side.
at least I don't have to hit a two inch target this time. I've got a foot pit. Uh, at least I don't have to hit a foot. Now we're going to try 200 yards again. What kind of fish do you think you'll catch in here? I don't know. Just kind of fish. Yeah. I don't think I did it. Really caught a little fish. And look at that hole. That is some hole. Look at this. Pulling good, man. Huh? Really see it down there now. Try it again.